Good morning, my July 27th uh, birthday babies. Good morning. I'm here to do your reading for the year, just for your year, uh, starting today. Um, as I said, it's the 27th of July. I've already had a pretty exciting morning. If you watched my feed earlier, I had a close call. Uh, I'm very grateful to be here today, and I have a feeling for whatever reason, um, that close call I had might have something to do with your reading. So let's go ahead and get started so you can take this uh, message with you and uh, have it for the rest of your year, at least your birthday year. Shuffling the cards um, and spirits, uh, ancestors, guides, and energies. Uh, please come forward, give us information for our July 27th Cancer Babe. Are you Cancer still? I don't even know. I Honestly, I don't do astrology. I guess I should learn more about it. Um, I know it's related, but... Um, this is my strength. So, um, anyways, let's see what cards come out today. I feel like cards are just pop up, wanting to hop out of this deck. And I was right. Out came a card. I'm going to go ahead and pick three cards before I start doing the reading. Whoa! And as I said that, one card flew out. A bunch of other ones. But I'm going to go ahead and keep shuffling and see if we can get a few more one or two more cards here before we start jumping into the reading. Um, can't believe it's already Tuesday. It just feels like the week, I mean, like yesterday. I don't know where it went. So, whoa, that card really flew out of the deck onto the floor. Ooh. Oh, interesting. All right, so um, the first card we got was the Ten of Swords, and a Ten is usually of a ending to something or, or renewal, the end and then the beginning. And we've got the Ten of Swords, Boy, that looks like an ominous card, doesn't it? And it's funny, I just told you about my close call I had today. Um, this is, swords have to do with your thoughts. And it looks like, literally, like you are just obsessing about something that happened that you just, you can't seem to let it go. And uh, it, 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 literally, you're beating the dead horse. It's just something that you just keep beating yourself up over or you're beating somebody else up over. Um, this ongoing uh, feeling of, resentment and and uh, guilt it that's what I'm really feeling right now um, and, and life is short and it's not worth carrying this around with you so if you're not going to either uh, accept forgiveness or, or, or give forgiveness or um, uh, let it go um, then you need to uh, um, recenter your thoughts and realize it's not healthy for you to carry these things around and um, you're gonna have to move on um, and in doing so, then we're going to see something else, a different energy, which is the, um, sorry, I got to adjust something here, um, is, is harmony, okay? Harmony, flow, and balance. We've got the um, six of pentacles, um, and that's the energy here is a flow and balance. Um, pentacles usually are about wealth, finance, work, um, and I'm guessing now that um, maybe you, you really screwed up your finances. That's my guess. You really screwed it up and you are freaking out because your bills are piling up. You're trying to get ahead. Maybe you didn't save when you could have and then things changed and then you kind of got stuck in a weird pickle. And so you're mad at yourself or somebody that you helped out financially that you're waiting for them to pay you back and now you need the money. Um, and so uh, what I see is once you let go of being upset and worried about this stuff, we've got that harmony, that flow energy of the six of um, pentacles. And as you see, here's somebody being very generous, handing out money. Um, being fair, being, um, you know, he's got money, he's helping people less fortunate. Maybe you did that. Maybe you loaned money to somebody trying to be a nice person and it kind of backfired on you. But I, I'm still telling you that if you can let go of this, um, replaying all the mistake that you made with that, um, the money will eventually show up and it may not show up from the person who owes you, or you may not pay that person back, whatever's going on there with that. But, um, you'll see your finances will start to kind of, uh, balance out a little bit better. Um, a third card we pick was a, a card of conflict. And this card has come up a lot lately. Um, and it's the, also the, a pentacles card. So it's the five of pentacles. Um, and you can see that there's a, a, somebody kind of like beseeching somebody walking away from them, asking for help. And in the background, we've got a church or, or some type of stained glass, maybe representing spiritualism and representing, um, again, that safe place, that, that, that um, place you can go when you're um, kind of struggling. 
And um, so I'm guessing that maybe, um, and this is what I feel strongly, um, there was some money that was lent out and uh, this person hasn't paid back yet. I don't think it's you. I think you you extended some finance to somebody. And um, you keep trying to contact them to ask them to pay you back. And they're either blowing you off, they're giving excuses. And you're so disappointed because this is somebody that you really um, felt comfortable loaning the money to. Otherwise, you wouldn't have done it. And so uh, super frustrating. Um, so let's see what other cards come out. Um, but what I want to say to you is it's just money, okay? Um, not to say that it, it certainly won't uh, probably damage that relationship, uh, but it, it's just a lesson to understand that um, sometimes people uh, have their own battles they're fighting and they aren't thinking about you. And, and, and I'm telling you to try not to take this very personally. Uh, it probably has nothing to do with you. Uh, and I think you will see that money once you stop worrying about it. Um, but let's see what else pops out real quick. Real quick. I know you have things to do today. So, um, Perfect. So we got the hangman and that's a seven energy and that energy is of spiritually no spirituality and knowledge. Like I mentioned to you, this is a bit more about spirit, a spirit conversation, a conversation about um, your morals and your beliefs and um, how you feel about people, not so much the money itself. And the hangman tends to be when you're sort of in a limbo stage where you're sort of going, I I'm not sure what I should do. Should I, should I um, uh, get mad? Should I write it off? Uh, should I call them? Should I threaten them? Should I take them to court? You know, whatever. Um, so if you look at the hanged man, you know, he's, he doesn't look upset necessarily. He's just sort of hanging there going, I don't know what to do. I'm just hanging around. But if you look at him upside down, he's also sort of standing there like he's about to jump off of that um, uh, thing that he's hanging from, the, the uh, tree or whatever you might call it. Um, so... I'm saying to you, um, let's just let's just put this to bed, this whole loan thing. Either do one of two things. Either write this person off or forgive them for being in a worse place than you are and that they needed that money so badly that they would uh, push push your friendship or love aside uh, and not pay you back. Like, almost like, it's almost like you need to um, forgive somebody even though you might not think they deserve it. I know that's a, that's a tough one. I don't like that one, but I've had to do it before. It's not for them. It's for you. It's to let go of that energy that's so negative. Because you know what? When you're holding on negative energy, there's no room for good energy. When there's no room for good energy, nothing turns out the way you want it to. So I'm going to just go ahead and pull one or two more cards and just see what else the um, spirits and guides have for you today, my July 27th babies. This card sort of... Oh, great. Uh, we got the Wheel of Fortune. Hi. And the Wheel of Fortune is a completion card and also a card of opening up to many, many possibilities. See that? And so, as I said to you, you let this go, you're opening a valve to a whole other thing to happen. Um, and I think, again, it's a completion and it's a renewal. So you're going to move on and you're going to learn from this. And um, it will it will uh, turn out well for you. It may seem be seemingly unrelated when things start to turn around. But again, energy is everywhere. Everything you think, everything you do is um, uh, saturated with energy. And again, you put out good energy, you're going to get better things. So this, this carrying around this, this frustration about not being uh, paid back or appreciated has got to go away. It's not helping you. Being right is not always the best thing. Sometimes just being at peace is more important. So let's see what else uh, comes up for you today. I feel like there's maybe one more card coming here. And if nothing pops out, well then I'm just gonna randomly pick a card. All right, I'm randomly picking. Don't know what this is. Aha, more conflict, more battle. Okay, so all this is telling me, you got the five of wands. And the ones have to do with your passion and motivation. Also, sometimes that's to do with jealousy. Um, but either way, um, it is a, a fire card, a card of fire, a, ca a card of inflammation, a card of anger, a card of upset. Again, you've really got to let this go. I'm just seeing too many cards of um, this frustration and resentment. So um, when July 27th, people, uh, I understand you because you wouldn't do this to somebody else. Um, but that's the thing is understand that's you. You're not everybody else. Um, and the last card that comes up again, we got another wands. And we got the um, 
nine of wands. And so this again has to do with regret, with I wish I hadn't done that. See how he's looking back on those things. I'm going, God, I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm hurt. I don't feel good about this. So um, just take that into mind for this next year that um, as uh, your birth year uh, to start learning to forgive a little easier and, and come from a place of you know, is it better to be right or to have peace inside? And I really think that that's going to help guide you through this next year. So um, happy birthday, my uh, July 27th babies. And thank you for sharing your birthday uh, with me and trusting me to give you a little bit of spirit message. I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye. Oh, and be sure to look at my YouTube page. It's also um, Molly Studio 33. If you would mind um, liking, sharing, subscribing, maybe watching a video or two, I'd sure appreciate it. I'm just trying to build my platform. Thank you very much.